This is the simplest and easiest way for you to get stronger for jujitsu so that you can start winning more matches and getting injured less. Let's discuss. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Selich. I am the BJJ Strength Coach and I'm here to talk to you guys today about the simplest and easiest way that you can start getting stronger for jujitsu so that you can win more matches and get injured less. Everybody wants to win more matches and for sure everybody wants to not be getting injured. So that's what this video is going to be about today. But before we get into it, I wanted to share with you guys, I have a free four week strength program that I want to send you. It's going to be great for you jujitsu athletes that are kind of at a point where you recognize and understand that I need to be doing something. I need to get stronger, but I don't know where to start. I don't know what exercises to do. I don't know where to begin. I answer all of those questions for you in this free four week program. If you're interested in that, just click the link below. I'd love to send that to you guys and help you out. Before I give you guys the simplest and easiest method to get strong for jujitsu, we need to lay a foundation of understanding real quick. It's important that you guys know that nobody, no one ever lost a jujitsu match because they were too strong and no one ever, ever got injured because they were too strong. I've been in the grappling game for nearly a decade. I've been in the strength and conditioning game for over a decade. And every single match from wrestling or jujitsu that I've coached or watched or competed in, I have never seen anybody get injured because they were too strong. The thing is, being weak increases your risk of injury. When it comes to your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments, all the connective tissue that holds your body together, if those things aren't durable, if those things aren't strong, you are severely likely to get injured. Now, it's one thing to talk about like decreasing risk of injury in a sport like sprinting or in a sport like basketball, but we're talking about jujitsu here where the entire purpose of the sport is to grab someone's arm and try to break it in half, to grab someone's leg and twist it apart so you blow out every ligament in their knee, or to grab a hold of their neck and squeeze it so tightly that you shut off all the oxygen and blood flow to their brain. That's the goal of the sport. So being able to put ourselves in a position where we are tougher, more resilient, and more physically durable is gonna help us so much in the long run be more successful on the mat. I know what you're probably gonna say, but coach, what about technique? All you need is technique, bro. Don't be a freaking technique, bro. Let me tell you this. Everyone knows that technique is so vastly important for jujitsu, and I'm not bashing technique, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't work on technique. You do need technique. People who have better technique usually perform better on the mat. But guess what? At a certain level, everyone's gonna have better technique. And we know what's responsible for contributing the most to proper technique, practice, and your muscles. Your muscles are literally what moves your body into positions so you can have proper technique. Now, the stronger those muscles are, the more resilient and durable all the connective tissue is, the more you're gonna be able to effectively apply those techniques in competition and in training. So now that we got the technique part out of the way, let's go ahead and discuss. Again, don't be a technique bro. This is gonna be a simple program that you can follow so that you can start getting stronger today for jujitsu. You're gonna look at your training week and you're gonna set aside two to three days a week that you wanna lift. You don't need much more than that for right now, especially if you're a beginner, two to three days is gonna be plenty of lifting days for you so that you can continue to get stronger and it's not gonna negatively impact your jujitsu training. On those days, you're gonna set aside 45 to 60 minutes to dedicate to strength training and you're gonna pick one to two main movements. Now, how do you pick those two, one to two main movements? You can, you wanna look at the biggest bang for your buck movements and exercises. So things like the squat movement, the deadlift or hip hinge movement. Think about horizontal pulling, vertical pulling, horizontal pressing, vertical pressing. Think about rotation of the trunk. Think about lunging, whether it's lunging forward, lunging out to the side. Those are gonna be some of the main movements that you wanna focus on and attack when you start to put together these workouts. For each workout, you wanna pick one to two movements that you wanna focus on, and you're gonna do two to six working sets from anywhere of four to six reps, maybe even upwards of 10 reps if your goal is to build more muscle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna select an intensity for your training session that's not gonna be 
super intense. This is for beginners. So if you're just starting out and you're, you're new to the gym or you're new to lifting alongside your jujitsu training, you don't want to be trying to hit a bunch of one rep maxes. You don't want to be going too intense. So on a scale of one to 10, one being as easy as waking up out of bed, 10 being an all out one rep max, eyeball popping, choney sharding, blood vessel bursting one rep max. If that's the scale we're working with, we really want to stay within that six to seven out of 10 intensity. This is going to give you enough stimulus so that you can continue to get stronger so that you can win more matches and get injured less, but it's not going to be so intense right now that it's going to start negatively impacting your jujitsu training. When it comes to rest periods, you're really gonna rest as long as you need to. Again, these workouts aren't super intense. This is very basic. This is just for you guys so that you can start to gradually incorporate some more strength training alongside your jujitsu training. And you just need to rest as long as you need to until you feel recovered to do another set with perfect technique. Now, if you're still having a hard time thinking of, okay, what exercises should I plug in here? Uh, what days should I lift and all that stuff? I already answered all that for you. I have a free four week strength program that I wanna send you. It's a full body push pull training program that's designed to not only help strengthen your deadlift, uh, your upper body, especially your upper back, but it's also gonna help strengthen your grip too, which we all know having strong grips is very important for jujitsu. If that's something you're interested in, just click the link below. You, all you gotta do is just drop in your email and it'll get it delivered to you automatically. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, turn on the notification bell, all that other stuff, all the other YouTubers tell you to do. I'm really working on trying to expand my audience and get this information out to as many grapplers and jujitsu athletes as possible. And I'd love it if you guys could help support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh Setledge. You guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Joshua Setledge, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.